So which came first, the horse or the city? Lexington the Horse was born in 1850 and originally named Darley. It wasn't until he was three years old that he was renamed Lexington in honor of the city. The city of Lexington wasn't established until 1782, which was 10 years before Kentucky became a state and 68 years before Lexington the Horse was born. You guys have probably seen pictures of Lexington around the city without quite knowing it. Um, the big blue Lex, big blue horse around the town, is an adaptation of this oil painting by prolific equine artist Edward Troy. Lexington was born in 1850 and he died in 1875. He was considered one of the greatest racehorses during his time and he sired over 570 foals. After he passed away in 1875, his owner actually buried him whole. Um, most racehorses are buried just their head, their heart, and their hooves. In 1878, an osteologist from the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History approached Lexington's owner and asked to exhume his skeleton in order to put him on display in the osteology hall as a fine specimen of the equine species. In 1999, Lexington was moved to the National Museum of American History in order to provide context for the first ever mass-produced stopwatch that split time into fractions of seconds. When that museum closed for renovations in 2006, Lexington was finally available for loan. Now this museum is a Smithsonian affiliate, which just basically means that we can loan things a little bit easier through a Smithsonian. They did have to examine the skeleton before he was cleared for travel because they had thought that the armature running through the base of his head was damaging the skull. But what they did discover was that Lexington had a massive facial infection that resulted in his going blind later on in life. At this point, they deemed the skeleton cleared to travel and in 2010, Lexington returned home to Lexington, Kentucky to reside here at the International Museum of the Horse. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let us know below.